Hi, I'm Tuluani. Here I am in Microsoft Teams and I quickly want to show you how to block or stop your team members or your students from using emojis, memes, GIFs or stickers as reactions to messages or posts in your Teams channel. You will also learn how to activate or deactivate the messaging features that is for your students to be able to start messages or chats in your channels. This means to either allow them to do that or not. It's going to be in your hands to control after this video. And the settings I'm about to show you works perfectly for the chat features or messaging features for your students or your team members when you are running your meetings as well. So let's get started with the first one. So let's learn how to block the members or teens or students from using memes, emojis, and all that. So what you need to do is you come to the general in your team. This is the team I'm using for this demo. So come to the general and um, click on the three dots here. So you click on these three dots to access the more, more options for it. And um, if this is if this seems too difficult for you, just come to, click on the general itself, then it lands you here. And from there, you go to the far end here to click on the ellipsis that's more option from there as well so you can see this so that's all you need to do so basically you have two options so it's either you use this to get more option or you use the ellipsis the three dots in front of general to access this so anyone works it's just for us to get more options for this and whenever you click this or that then what you you get all these options and the one you need from here is just the one for manage channel so we are clicking on manage channel So when I click on manage channels, this is what comes up. So this is what comes up for you. Now I want you to know that uh, we have two sections here. So um, this is the first one. This, um, whatever you do here works for all the channels that you have created. So it works for all the channels. So whatever you do under that, that's the first three, that's this, team code, fun stuff and tags. It works for all this, all right? While the second one, the second one, which is um, general channel, that works only for general channels only. So now for us to control the emojis, memes, GIFs, and stickers as reactions to messages. So we're gonna click on this one, fun stuff. And we click on this drop down to expand this so that we don't allow the students to be able to use emojis, memes, or send stickers. So I click on this to expand that and we have these two options here. I want you to know that uh, when you click on this now, the first one is just the one that we need to uncheck. Once we uncheck this, automatically this one goes off. It goes off automatically, so you don't worry. So this first one says, enable the students to use stickers and memes, while the other one says, allow memes to be uploaded. And we don't want this to happen, so we are just gonna uncheck this now. So when I do that, automatically the second one goes off automatically and that's okay for me. There's nowhere to save so you don't need to worry. And come to the second one which is um, on the general itself. Automatically by default this is what it is. So it says anyone can post messages. Now we don't want anyone to post messages probably because the students are abusing their rights or they are going out of band. So we want only the moderators. We want only the moderators, moderators to uh, post messages or owners. That's the teachers that have access. Only the teachers or the owners should have access to post messages. So that's what we're gonna click on. So I click on that and that is it. So this works only for general. So we need to do this for other channels as well. Okay, so now there's nowhere to save. So please, whatever you've done here is automatically saved. And I want you to know that these settings works for your meetings. If you just go to your meetings, they will not even be able to post messages as well. So you don't worry. Now. To activate this for your channel, just do the same thing. Come to the um, channel you want to work on. So I click on the channel. You have the ellipses in front of the channel itself. So I can either use this or I use this. Just like I showed you before. So I can use any of the two. More option for this. And um, what I actually need is money channel. And this is for the channel not general now the interface is different from the way it is in general so now this is what you see by default you're gonna click on this drop down to turn this on because this is obviously wrong for me 
So I'm going to use this to turn it on. And when I clicked on that now, automatically you can see that this has changed. Only moderators can post and that's what I want. So for me, this is good. Now, for the team members permissions, if you want them to reply, don't forget, we are setting this that only you should be able to post messages now. So they will not be able to post messages. They will not be able to send messages or chat. Only you will be able to send messages into the channel, but they can reply. With this, Checked means they can reply, but if you notice they are abusing that function as well, you can just um, uncheck this, all right? But basically now, for this, 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 for the last three, I think um, they don't need it. So please turn off the last three options, turn it off, turn it off, and turn it off. And it's good. So this is optional for you, if you want them to be able to um, reply to messages or not, it's in your hands you have the power to control just come here and um, check or uncheck depending on what you want there's no saving um, button so it is automatically saved everything we've done is automatically saved and um, back to the channel page now the post page now the student a student is trying to start a post and this is what the student is gonna say meaning the student has no access to send posts into the channel any longer the settings we have done here now works automatically for your meetings. If you go to your meetings and you try to, and the students are trying to send messages, they will not be able to, except you click the meeting options to allow them to send chats into the meetings. So basically you're in control now. I would also like to show you how to stop students from muting and removing others in your team's meetings. And you will also want to learn how to end meetings properly and block students from going back to the same meetings. It would be good if you also learn how to convert your Microsoft forms to printable worksheets and so many other videos. So can you please check the video details, the video description below here and you'll see a whole list of so many videos. I'm sure one or two of them will be helpful for you. Don't forget to give this video a like and uh, please share the link as well. It would be a good one if you also subscribe to this channel. All this really do help.